Oh, I just want to play Zelda's Lullaby here in order to have the fairy go along. But either way, hello everyone, I am Master Ocelum, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D! In this one, we're finishing off the Shadow Temple, and rescuing the next Sage, and taking on, honestly, what is personally one of my favorite bosses in this game. Of course, this fairy's gonna continue moving along, but not just this fairy going along, but we're gonna be met with some foes. With some guys that are not gonna be too fun to deal with. Some guys that won't be too pleasant, but... Yes, give me some Stealthos. And, yeah, just like that, he's dead. The Vagoron Sword is insane. I love the sword so much. The Vagoron Sword is so much fun to use. In the future, because this quality isn't the best, I might honestly just want to do a replay through of this game with a capture card instead of just this poor quality, because, honestly, guys, oh my god. Okay, I need to stop talking so I can actually kill this guy. Jeez, should not dealt that much damage to me, but... Either way, we just want to go along this fair. You didn't. You don't have to kill the Stalfos, though they will prove to be a bit of a problem if you allow them to live, because they could fall you down to this platform, and you could end up doing an epic duel. But you want to jump off real quick, because as Navi is about to point out, I'm waiting for Navi to point it out in the first place. Come on, Navi. And... Oh, I guess she isn't. But yeah, the ship is sinking. Yeah, you don't want to follow it all the way and wait, because if you do... You might sink with it, and Navi would have pointed out, if you were still standing on the ferry, then Navi would have pointed out saying, Oh no, Link, get off the ship, it's sinking! And yeah, you would have wanted to jump off, but let's go ahead and make our way along this bridge. And actually, we do need a small key in order to make our way through there, and well, where are we going to get a small key? You might be wondering. Well, that small key is going to be... Right through here, as heading through here, this is going to be basically a whole maze. Where, yeah, an entire maze built for just us. Where we just want to go through it and basically collect small keys. Well, we want to get at least one. We want to get one small key and, of course, get the boss key. Because, yeah, it's not too fun and well. We want to kill these babies, too. Come on, get out of here. And get out of here. And just like that. There you go. Door unlocks and a chest is going to spawn. It being a small chest because of course we've already gotten everything in this place besides the boss key. But this is not going to hold the boss key. This is going to hold the small key that we need to go through that one locked door. But I do believe we might get two small keys because I do believe in this place we're going to need a couple small keys in order to progress. So, yeah, I do believe we're going to need a couple small keys in order to make our way through this whole stinking area. Let's make our way through this door, though. Let's hope this is back the way we came. And nope, it isn't. And, well, oh, no. The walls are closing in. And, yeah, you might be wondering, oh, no, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know why I'm acting like this because it's 2023, but, yeah, the walls are closing in. Oh, no. We, we might die. Guys, no. I... I uh, know I didn't want this to happen. Well, you simply just want to burn them. Yeah, just simply use Din's fire just like this, and you're gonna burn them. Though unfortunately, you're also gonna create fire keys, as I do believe on Master Quest at least there are keys in this room, so you're gonna create fire keys by doing so. But of course, there are not fire keys. In place of them, there are redeads in the normal quest version. On normal, there are redeads. On Master Quest, there are keys. And they'll turn to fire keys, which are annoying. But, just like that, we get ourselves the boss key. Now we can continue on and finish this place off. But, well, you can tell, yeah, the Skulltal icon is not there. Well, the Skulltal icon isn't there. As, yeah, we are missing a gold Skulltala. And you might be wondering, where is that freaking gold Skulltala? I, I want to get it. I want to know where I can get it. Well, yes, as you can tell, there are these things rotating. Because, yes... We need to play more bomb skip ball, yeah. And I do believe we've collected now, after this gold skull, we've collected every gold skull within the Shadow Temple. Let me just double check, and yes, the skull icon is right there. And whenever that skull icon is there in an area, for example, we, if we were to take a look at the Hyrule map, if it shows a skull icon next to each area, that means you collected every gold skull. I'm probably gonna mention that in my gold skull collecting video, but either way, that is it, guys. We've collected every gold skull in this place, and now we just have to worry about the other temples, like the forest temple, and just 
generally every area throughout Hyrule, collecting all the gold skulls. And well, that one made it. Let's go and wait, and kaboom! Oh wait, what? That missed? I thought that made it, huh? Seems like I suck at bomb skip all, and that should have made it, right? And boom! Yeah, and wait, wait, it already did the ding. Did I really get that first try? Did I really get that? Oh, no, the game only made that dinging sound because I did it right. Well, I forgot some of this game to troll you. Because I played the dinging sound. Normally when it plays the dinging sound, that means you did something right, you're going to get a reward. But my reward was simply just useless Deku Nuts. So, yeah. Useless Deku Nuts. Let's go ahead. Wait for that to explode that skull. And I don't trust it. I don't trust you. Yeah, I don't think that was a small key at all. Though, I want to say this will give us a small key, though I'm not entirely sure. No! Dang it. Okay. Let me grab this bomb. No! Come on. Skeleton, please. Please, please, please. Please, Skull. Are you serious right now? Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, well, let me go ahead and attempt to toss it in again. There we go. We made it in. Now we just gotta wait. And there you go, yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of rupees. Wow, useless ones at that. So yeah, it was just Bomb Skip Ball, another gold skull to the room. But hey, we had some fun playing some Bomb Skip Ball. I'm sure at least you guys had fun watching me play some Bomb Skip Ball, at least hopefully. But either way, enough fooling around, enough horsing around. And yeah, let's go and move on with things. Because yeah, now we have a boss to take on. We have... An enemy to face head on to take care of to rescue our friend Impa, who is the sage of the Shadow Temple. And yeah, we gotta rescue Impa ASAP. We gotta rescue her. And well, in order to do so, we need to take on the boss of this temple. I'm not gonna spoil it because I wanna wait until we actually take him on. But let's go ahead and make our way through this door. And, well, yes, there are these platforms. Now we do need the hover boots here, so I'm gonna replace it with Dense Fire. Because we do not, we do not need Din's fire for this. I love how I said we need the hover boots, and I literally put them in my inventory. I love how I said we need them, and then I don't even put them on, but I put them in my inventory. That's hilarious. But we've collected every gold skull in this place. We are ready, guys. Let's go ahead, enter through the boss door, and take on the boss of this place. Of course, since we have the Bagoran sword, it's going to be easy work for us. Let's head down, take on the boss. This was a shorter episode for the temple because, I mean. In the last episode, we went through the majority of the temple in, like, 20 minutes. So, I'm honestly impressed by that. Because I don't really take my time in this temple. Take my time. Enjoy it for what it is. Just enjoy the aesthetic. Enjoy the dark themes in this temple for what they are. But here is the boss of the Shadow Temple. I'm waiting for the name to appear. The Phantom Shadow Beast Bongo Bongo. Oh, no. It's Bongo Bongo. He has hands. He's playing the Bongo Bongo. Oh, my God. He's playing the freaking bongo bongo. Stop it. Stop playing your bongo. Yeah, stop playing your bongo, buddy. Yeah, you heard that right. I don't want you playing your bongo no more. Bye. Die. Bye bye Out of here. Suck it. Alright. Yeah, we literally just want to play. Or no, not... Play! Okay, seriously. I hate how he does this. I hate how he freaking does this. Seriously, I got grabbed. Seriously, I got freaking grabbed. That sucks. You suck, man. You suck at playing the bongo. Yeah, you suck. You heard me right. You suck at playing the bongo, buddy. You suck at it. And well, say bye. Yeah, that was bongo bongo, everyone. He played the bongo till he died. Wow. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I have no useful commentary here because that was it. That was the boss. It's as easy as that. As you can tell with the bosses in this game, once you get the Bagoran Sword, it is insane. Like, the Bagoran Sword is literally, like... The Bagoran Sword is the best item in this game. It deals massive damage, it has a long range, and it just deals insane damage. Like, the Master Sword deals good damage, and the Bagoran Sword does double that. So it literally deal deals insane damage. But, besides all of that, let's go and grab ourselves this hard container for completing the Shadow Temple, defeating the boss, and just like that, we are two hard containers away from having all 20 within the game. Taking a look at our gear, we are at 61 gold skulls. We have so many gold skulls left to collect, but that will be... In another episode play after this one or after the next one where in the next couple episodes i'm gonna be doing some side questing doing one side quest which is going to involve masks in order to give myself some item upgrades 
then I'm going to be doing an episode completely full of collecting gold skulls, which might be 30 minutes long or something, I don't know, but without wasting time, let's enter this portal and rescue the very next sage, the sage of the shadow temple. And that boss, that just, yeah. Bongo bongo, I, literally, that boss is so easy. The Bagoran sword destroys him. <laughs> he played the bongo till he did no more. <laughs> bongo bongo, everyone. I don't even know what the thing was. Like, he literally was just a spine. He, was, he basically just had a spinal cord, floating hands, and that was it. I don't even know what the heck to say about him. But, either way, here's Impa. The boy with the noble Zola Zocarina. As I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time, which we have of course. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you've become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. For now. Soon you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the Six Sages, will seal up the Evil King and, re and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. And yes, now it's time to get ourselves the next medallion of the game. We've gotten the forest, fire, the water medallions. Now, for completing the Shadow Temple and rescuing Impa, we get ourselves the Shadow Medallion. Yes, just like that. Well, we received the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Just like that. That's another temple down. One more to go. Please look out for the princess. We will, Impa. We will. We shall. And of course, like I said about Princess Love being safe for now, I'm hinting at something in the future that's going to be pretty hype. Either way, thank you all so much for watching this one on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I don't want to ruin this moment, so I'm not going to do spin attack to end the episode this time. Maybe I will. Maybe just to ruin the moment. But I want to leave it at this, with this cool camera angle. Either way, thank you all so much for watching this one on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I'll see you all next time as we do some side questing. And do the happy mask quest to get ourselves some item upgrades. And then after that, I'm going to be, I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing a whole episode, which is going to be collecting a bunch of gold skulltulas in order to continue on to our 100%. As, yeah, we have 39 more to collect in the game. That is a lot. But I will be taking a look at a guide just to see what ones we have yet to collect in the game, just to refresh my memory. And then I'll prepare ahead of time for it and then collect... The rest we need on camera. Of course, I might be doing a couple episodes of collecting gold skulls just because I don't want it to be one insanely long video. I want it to be decently long to where you guys still watch it but aren't too straight away from it. I don't, I don't know how long it's going to be. I'll see once I record it. Either way, thank you all so much for watching this one. I'll see you all in the next one as we do some side questing and see what lies up ahead in the game. And yeah, we have one temple up ahead. Four more pieces of heart left to collect. I'll be collecting those four in a future episode. I'll see you all next time as we continue onwards. Peace out.